Collecting the mail, MSX games from Japan Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups and that's the plan He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with another little pick up and play video um, just three more games for the Coleco uh, from a seller I got in Australia. I got some games off recently in these hard cases. Um, one of them is an upgrade, and the other two I don't think I had at all. Or if I had them, it was I, I got this for a pretty low price, so it's worth getting the cases anyway. So one I definitely didn't have was Super Action Football. Um, I've got the one that is the actual Super Action Soccer. So these hard cases with custom print covers aren't too bad. Arcade machine in the background is not too noisy for you there. And we also have Super Action Baseball. So these of course use the Super Action controller. Which I think is pictured on the back there as well. Um, and last but not least is quite a good game, Frontline. Another game that uses the Super Action controller. I, um, I do have a special homebrew version of it that works with the normal controller uh, that was released later. I don't think I had the actual original game. And these hard covers uh, are a nice way of displaying them on, on the shelf and things. And they come with the actual cart in really good condition and instructions. And all the carts are in really good condition, as are the instructions. And look at the end of the day, that's all I really need. So that one already showed that one. <laughs> mm, Super Action Baseball. So they're all in really good nick. And a couple of quite different games to um, to pad out the Coleco collection. So um, we might as well give them a play. I don't think I've, I mean, I've played Frontline and I remember vaguely playing Super Action Baseball when it first came out back in the day. But I um, haven't played Super Action Football. Don't expect me to do very good at that because. We don't really get to see American football over here, uh, so I don't really understand the rules. Alright, let's go try those now. Right, here we go with Super Action Baseball. We might as well start at the one that I'm probably going to be no good at. I really don't know how to play American football. Now, another thing, I've got my Super Action controller. <coughs> I do think one of my buttons is a little funny. We'll see how we go. Um, they did come with overlays. don't have any, so I'm going to have to work this out. No, I haven't looked at the manual. Very naughty. Let's see how we go. So this really... So kick off. stuff or something. Don't seem to be controlling anything. Oh dear. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just don't seem to be getting anything. Delay of game. Something happened. So star did that, but maybe we're supposed to choose a formation. I mean, look, the graphics look quite detailed. And I do remember a lot of talk about this game back in the day. Could actually be something wrong with my Super Action Control. <coughs> I did something. I don't know what I'm doing. Kick the ball and tackle. Mm. <coughs> not, not, to be fair, let's have a quick look at the manual together. I'm really not going to be able to give a very good demonstration because I don't 
understand the game very well. Keyboard overlay, yes, wonderful. Um, so because with American football you've got an offensive and a defensive side, so currently um, offensive side because I've got the ball. Action buttons, blue action button, which is the bottom one, which is my button that doesn't work as well. On offense, uses the blue action button to pass or hand off to increase the distance of a punt. Okay, control stick moves your backs in eight directions. Push left or right to move left or right towards the goal line. Keypad, use keypad keys in select game options to do input plays. You have different plays. So it sounds like it's quite a detailed. Um, and you spin the speed roll to accelerate the running speed of your halfback, so that's the little spinner. <coughs> port one. Yeah, I mean port one. Three sends kick off. Okay. I mean it actually has quite a big Oh! Look what I just found in the manual. I actually have the overlays. Who knew? But my god they got a lot on them. Defensive blocking, defense right here, so left, so direction left, long, set, and then kick. My blue button's messing up a little bit. May have to take this apart and clean it. <coughs> it's actually a pity the bottom button is the action button. So, as you can see, it's quite a detailed American football. I really don't know a lot about American football, but this probably was one of the better American football games back in the day and um, was quite well known <coughs> as a good game for the Coleco and one of the games that uses Super Action Controller. So. Obviously with the other one we're going to play baseball, I've played that one before. There's also a really good boxing game, which you don't have. Um, and Frontline uses a Super Action Control, we'll see how we go. Alright, let's move on to the next game. Right, so here we go with Super Action Baseball, <coughs> which I do vaguely remember playing back in the thing. And I looked in the manual this time first, and we actually have an overlay. As you can see, there's a lot on the overlays. These are actually, you know, designed to be quite complicated and detailed sports games appealing to the um, sports market just like the Intellivision did <coughs> in a big way and if you compare these games obviously Intellivision games were, were good fun but could only be so detailed these overlays really are hard to put in um, got it <coughs> right um, Let's just go batting to start with. Speed. Pitch selection. Field Let me guess it's going to be the bloody. Hmm, I do start to think that might. Super action controller. Oh, I've got to press direction. Right, okay. Of course. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Yep. Hey, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Should let that one go. <laughs> I'm 
timing right. Nice ball. Bang. Okay. This is great. It's actually got a batting practice. Curveball. <laughs> yeah. Too slow. Too high. Ah, too high. Got a new one for a while, have I? Fielding skill one. Throwing the ball to the appropriate person, is it? There's a little chart down here that shows the field positions. So if we go Yeah, not sure about that one. Let's go back. Fielding. I don't get how you move the man. Oh action buttons. Purple. It's probably my purple button that doesn't work. Oh. Once again, reading the instructions should probably help a lot. Pitch bat two player. Now, <coughs> I do know that this game, you, I don't think you can play against the computer. We'll, we'll try head to head baseball skill one. But I reckon I need another player. Yeah, it's only a two-player game, unfortunately. But at least there's some practice things in there, so you can play one player and get better at it before your mate comes over. So as you, as you can see, once again, quite a detailed sports game. Um, I do remember playing this back in the day, and I quite like it, and I do actually like baseball games. So I'll be reading the instruction manual, and then maybe when I have one of my friends around, Aaron or Gary or something like that, <coughs> and if I can find my other super action controller, uh, we might give it a go together. All right, let's try the next game. All right, next we've got front line. There was a controller overlay in the manual, not two, but one. Quite a cool little overlay. Let's try and get it a bit closer for you. It's in camo colours. You can play this one or two players as well. So yellow is fire. You've got red and purple to rotate left and right. And number the bottom one is grenade. Jump. And yeah, it's just got a couple of things for options, so we'll go one player. Uh, skill level one, I'm about to be absolute rubbish. Okay, let's see how we go. <coughs> okay, five on works just. Alright, 
and these two buttons. The yeah, purple button doesn't. Oh, purple button barely works. into him. Didn't know you couldn't run into them. <coughs> ah. bombs you get. Oh, okay, that's my life counter, not bomb counter. Interesting. So, you know, maybe I need to use my grenades more. Oop, bridge.
Controls helps if your controller is working properly. Just one of my. I just don't use these very often, so I haven't stripped them down. <coughs> Probably could have used my arcade stick up there, because that's actually got all the buttons with this on it, and other than the wheel. Oh! Oh, must have got an extra solder or something. So this is obviously we're going around again and fire. No. So there we go. So <clears throat> I said these games didn't cost me very much. It would have cost probably more money to get three empty cases is, is a um, basically a place in America where you can order those hard cases with the printed cover and they probably would have cost more with postage than it cost me to get these three cartridges so well worth getting I did <coughs> already have um, a loose copy of Super Action Baseball though so um, but all of these cartridges are in really really good condition too so upgrades and so a couple loose ones that I have available to trade and sale Right, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.